it's your boy Libs from Conscious Bully Network back with another video. We got two litters going on at one time, Conscious Family. And it could be a lot to deal with, but I believe that we built for it and we're doing the best that we could under the circumstances that we're in. And I'll go ahead and walk you through what's going on. Hit that like button, hit that share. Remember, it's good to see you and it's good to be seen and not view that part. And conscious is a way of life. We started from scratch. No blueprint, no master plan. Just every day adding on, subtracting what's not needed, building. We here now, conscious. I'm out here, man. I'm gonna go ahead and pick this poop up off the ground. It looked like Luna had to drop her loads. I'm just happy that she came outside so that give me the opportunity to do what I gotta do. And I only have a minimum amount of time like when I'm doing what I'm doing. It's like, she's gonna do what she gotta do and she's gonna be in a rush to get back to her baby. So when she finally left that room, I have to go in there and do the, try to do everything that was on my mind as quickly as possible because uh, I don't want to stress her out by keeping her away from her babies too long. I'm going to go ahead and pick this poop up off the ground. Yeah, man, I'm really loving the fact that Ada actually lets me touch her puppies and so I can help out, you know what I'm saying? There's certain little things that I see that I want done. There's beetles out here. I could try to make it happen and she don't mind the help but Luna Luna doesn't want any help and she want all the smoke and uh at first you know I was thinking about just like chumping her off you know what I'm saying but I don't think that's a good idea I don't think it's a good idea to put too much stress on her and chump her off for her own kid, right? Even though everybody belong to me. You belong to me, your babies belong to me. But in her mind, in the animal world, uh, I don't wanna put that type of stress on her. So I'm kinda like letting her have her way as long as she do a good job with taking care of those babies. I really don't have no complaints because the more work she does, the less work I gotta do. And I know by the time these puppies get about five weeks old she's gonna stop she's gonna stop taking care of them and run from them and then my work is gonna increase so i'm gonna let her get that off right now <sighs> my robe coming loose i gotta fix this shit Get back. I'm gonna put this in the garbage. Get back. I came outside earlier this morning trying to let the, the, the dogs out and the whole goddamn trash can full of maggots. We got two more days to... 
whole damn trash can full of maggots. We got two more days before trash day, so I sprayed that shit down with a bunch of bleach and a little water. I sprayed it down. Get back, Pablo. Get back. And kill. Look at all these damn uh, beetles around here. I wonder if they're attracted to anything. It's a bunch of dead beetles. At least they dead, but I wonder what's attracting them. Look at one right here. He is still alive. Hey, Pablo, I need you to move out my face so I can walk straight. I can't even walk. Damn dog, jumping all in my face. What's up with all these beetles over here in this area? I'm not feeling this. I don't know what's happening. Look at that one. I don't know what type of beetle that is. Get back. But you got to go. They in this area right here, heavy. Mm. Well, I think if I if I if I'm thinking on the right on the right wavelength, that probably going to be Luna only time coming out that room all day. She's at, she's not gonna come out anymore. She she made her rounds. She came out, pooped, peed. I made sure I shoved that water in her crate. I made sure I shoved that food in her uh, kennel too. And she had one puppy that was dead. So I'm I made sure that I removed that puppy, that dead puppy, from out of her uh, out of her kennel. Cause I'm telling you, even though it's dead she won't let nobody take it away so that was my opportunity and that's what i did and i'll keep y'all updated on luna and ada's litters um i think so far so good uh luna has six puppies one died so now she's got five in there ada had seven puppies and one died so now she's got six in there um these are the most crucial times in the puppy's life, like the, the first week. Like, I, I do believe if they could survive five days, then I think everything gonna be all right. If they could survive a whole week of being nurtured by their mother, I think everything will be all right uh, if they just keep on eating. So, like I said, Ada got six, Lona's left with five, and so far, so good. I keep y'all updated. Well, look who we have today. We have a visitor with us, Conscious Family. We have a visitor. A po pretty pocket. Yeah, this is S-Dog. I don't know her name, but we're on our way to go visit him right now at the, uh, mechanic shop working on his car and he got a beautiful baby right here look at her she's beautiful her beautiful that's a pretty girl that's a pretty girl Pretty girl. Camera. Hey, Pretty up? as hell. All right, baking soda. <laughs> she's a pretty girl. So hopefully she's gonna be having pups with the same, oh, the yeah. same dog that I uh, bred my female with. Oh, okay. 